Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to edit Cos OS apps with a Big Bear script that I made. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, and installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts, and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. So I'm going to scroll down to Edit Cost OS Apps right here. Then I'm going to go into Run to SH. So I'm going to start with Bin Bash, and then I'm going to set a variable of apps directory, and that's the var lib Cost OS Apps. And then I'm going to set a function to list all the apps in this directory right here with the apps directory. And then it's using the ls command. So I'm going to also set a function to edit the Docker Compose. So it's going to set a variable for service name, the editor choice, the Docker Compose path, which is apps directory, and then the service name, and then Docker Compose.yaml. And then it's going to come down here and it's going to check if uh, that path exists. And if it doesn't exist, it's going to say that docker compose.yaml file does not exist for the service name. And then it's going to come down here and it's going to open the editor that the user uh, uh, picks. So if the user picks nano, then it's going to use nano. If the user picks vim, it's going to use vim. And if the user doesn't pick anything or, or, or there's an error, it's going to say invalid e editor choice. And then it's going to come down here once it's done that and you've saved it in Nano or VM. It's going to come down here and use the cost OS CLI app management and then apply. And then the service name and then the file of where the Docker Compose lives, which is uh, uh, this variable right here. So um, then it's going to come down here and do, I, do, I do the main script. So it's going to say welcome to cost OS app editor. Then it's going to use the function up here, uh, the list apps function, and it's going to list all the apps. Then it's going to prompt the user to pick which app they want to edit, the, the service name. And then uh, the check uh, if the service uh, directory exists. It's going to check if the apps directory and the service name uh, exist. And it's going to say the selected app does not exist. Please try again if the user inputs something wrong. And then it's going to ask the user to choose an editor. So please select an editor, Nano Vim, enter choice one or two. And then it's going to come down here and it's going to uh, do a case for the editor choice. And then it's going to put the edit, uh, edit Docker Compose and then the service name and uh, the Nano in if they picked one. If they pick two, it's going to do ed editor Docker Compose. It's going to use that function. And then it's going to put the service name and then Vim. And then if the user does not pick one or two, it's going to error out and say invalid choice. Please enter one for nano or two for vim. And then if the editing is complete, it's going to say that editing complete. So um, on this function right here, the edit docker compose function that the service name and a nano is being set up here. So uh, the dollar sign one is for the service name. The dollar sign two is for the uh, uh, the, uh, the the editor. So I'm going to go over here to edit cost OS apps. Then I'm going to go down here. I'm going to copy this command, and then I'm going to uh, keep that and run it uh, to edit the uh, the cost OS apps. So now I'm SSH into my cost OS. So I'm going to um, paste in the command. And then I'm going to run it by return or enter. It's going to say the available apps are 2F auth and Portainer. So I'm going to uh, type out Portainer, the service name. And then I'm going to run it. So uh, and not, not, now it's going to ask you, please select an editor. So you can select Nano or you can select uh, Vim. So Nano is one and uh, Vim is two. So I'm going to go with it. So now you can add anything in this Docker Compose. And then you can go over here 
And the main thing you, you, you would probably want to do is change the tag. And then you can update this to the latest tag. And then you can press Control X and then uh, Y and then enter a return or enter. And then, so now the Compose app is being applied with changes to secrecy. And then the editing is complete. So now on your Cos OS, the app has been reloaded and it should be on the latest tag now. So you can run the command again and you can go to the portainer and then you can do it again. And then you can use Vim th this time by doing two hit here. And then you can change anything in here. So you can go in here and you can ch uh, change it back to 219.3. Uh, and then now you can uh, get out of Vim by escape and then WQ. And then now I'm going to return and then, so now the Compose app is being applied with the changes asynchronously. So th I showed you two ways to edit it with Nano and Vim. And uh, this is a really neat way to edit the Docker Compose and get it changed uh, in the Cos OS. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, each time you ran that command, it reloaded the cont container and then pulled down the new image. So, you can see, if you go into settings, you can see it's a 219.3. Uh, so, uh, this makes it to where you, you can e easily update all the Docker Compose and um, without having to go in the UI. And also, uh, you can't edit the Docker uh, ta tag here. Uh, so this makes it to where you don't have to export and then re-import, which that's time consuming. So I just walked you through step by step on how to edit uh, a Cos OS app with a Big Bear script that I made. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.